Hi, I'm Marek Molacic from SciTraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a video, a web gallery from the series of images in Adobe Bridge. In another video, we're going to do the same thing with Lightroom, but now we'll start with Adobe Bridge. Uh, as you already know, Adobe Bridge ships for free with Photoshop or with Creative Suite, so you don't have to buy it, you don't have to pay for it. You do have Adobe Bridge, whether you have Photoshop or Creative Suite installed. So I've got a series of images, there are six images here, and I'm inside Adobe Bridge CS5. This will also work with Bridge CS4. To create web galleries, you need to jump into the output panel or output workspace. This uses the output module in Bridge that was introduced in CS4. So I'm going to click on the output module, jump in here, and there's two tabs, PDF and Web Gallery. So I'm going to click on Web Gallery. This opens Web Gallery. Okay. Now I'm going to select all the images here. So I'll just click on one and then press Control A on PC or Command A on the Mac to select all the images. So all the images are here. I will start customizing it. First, we've got a template. If I click on the drop down menu, I can see loads of different templates. Some of them are HTML, some of them are Flash. One of the beauties of Flash, and that's why photographers use Flash for the websites, of course, ex uh, apart from creating beautiful animations and 3D with Flash as well, is also because Fla when you look on Flash website, uh, you you can't really download the images. If you right click on the image, there's no download option or save option, or you can just simply click and drag the images to your desktop like you can with the HTML content. So we're going to focus on the Flash web gallery. I'm going to start with the Lightroom Flash gallery, and we'll customize that. Okay. And it's loads of styles. I'm going to start with the default and I'll just click on refresh preview to have a quick preview of how it's going to look. Bridge quickly generates a gallery from these images here and will show us a preview in here in just a few seconds in the output preview panel. Okay, so that's how it looks. We're going to customize all that here. Everything can be easily customized all the names, the tags, even the link. There's a link here. It's in our rollover. It's got an underline, okay, and these the thumbnails and the big preview, okay. So let's start customizing it. Site in, um, yeah, I'm going to focus on this flash gallery here. But just to show you what it does, you can use different presets. For example, blue sky, and I'll click refresh preview to quickly refresh the preview and show you the difference. It uses different colors and also a slightly different layout, or maybe not blue. Let's see, maybe classic. I'll click on Refresh Preview. In Classic, we will launch with the white background, okay? Similar to the default, by and white. Or maybe Nightlife, a really interesting preset for web gallery. Okay. okay, I'll stick with this one. Now, Site Title, this appears here in the top left corner, so I'm going to customize that. And I'll set here, say, see it. Maybe it's a 1.212V. 1.212SX. Okay. Now I'll click Refresh Preview to see how the text changes. This is the big text in the top left corner. Okay, it looks good. Now we have my photographs on the right hand side. So let's say, I'm just going to call it Norik Mulaochik. Uh, let's make it gallery. Okay. I'll click refresh preview once again. Good. Now collection description. I'm going to change the web photo gallery created by Marek Mlaczyk. Contact info. This is the email address that appears here. I'm going to change it, make it something that's more meaningful. For example, email me okay and then I'll add the email address here so I'll do M-A-R-E-R -E -R. let's do something that doesn't exist at uh, say yahoo.co.uk click on flash preview and this should change now from contact name to email me and it's an email address I can roll over it if I click on it the web browser in a web browser it will open the email client Cobra info 
I'll add some copyright info here as well. First, I'm going to add the copyright symbol. And then 2011. And I'll add my name. Okay, now color palette. That's where you can customize the colors within the image. Text, light gray, that's okay. Header text is white, that's great. Header, you can easily customize that. So I could click on this color swatch and change it maybe to something different. Say maybe this color here. Okay, now click refresh preview. And that's the new header. Okay. Well, maybe not the best color in this case. So I'm just going to quickly change it back to black. Okay. But you get the idea. You can customize that really easily here. You got menu, background, border, controls, background, controls, foreground. I'm going to leave it on default. What I do want to customize is the appearance. For example, family size. I want to make them bigger. So I'm going to move this slider. Let's see, 48. You can see this section appears here all the time, like in the PDF section that we talked about in a previous video. Looks better. Okay. It's a good size. Slideshow size, 675. That should be okay. This is the longest site. So in this case, the uh, length. Gallery image size, 450. Oh, make that slightly bigger. Oh, make that 500. Quality is 70. Because I'm using web, oh, I'm just going to drag it to say about 80%. Layout on the left, that's fine. I'll click Refresh Preview to preview it once again. Looks good. And then we have Create Gallery, Gallery Name. I'm going to call it Ibiza Gallery, that's fine. And now we have two options. You can either save it or you can upload it straight to your web server. For example, I'm, I've uploaded it to my website. You just need to add the username, the password, I'm going to delete that, and maybe create a folder. I've created a folder for that as well. Okay. And you can upload it straight to your web server, or you can save it on your desktop. I'm going to show you what happens when you save it on your desktop. So I'm going to click on Browse, and I'll just save it on my desktop. I'll press OK, okay. and I'll click Save. And this will create a web gallery and save it on my desktop. This will generate the HTML file and the folders with all the images. Now I'm going to jump into my desktop and this is the folder. It is a gallery. Okay, I'll open it. There's an HTML file here and the resources folder with all the files that are required, including the images, large, medium and thumb. Large is the slider in the full screen, medium is what you see when you navigate the page, and thumb are the thumbnails. So I'm just going to quickly launch it in the web browser to show you what it looks like. Okay, and that's the gallery. I can roll over the thumbnails, show different images. Okay, it's good. I can play it here. I can jump into full screen, so to say, within the web browser. Or I can show the thumbnails back again. And I can send an email as well. I can click on the email me. And this is you normally sends an email. Okay, I'm just going to close that. Uh, I'm just going to cancel that. And that's how you create web gallery within Adobe Bridge CS5. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from SciTrain.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training, specializing in Photoshop, Lightroom, Bridge, also Dreamweaver and Flash Training. Thank you for watching.